Hi, we're here with Tanya Swasbrook, who is from Travel World in California, right? Yeah, that's right, in San Diego. And uh, Tanya, uh, we wanted to ask you, why did you decide to become a travel agent and how long have you been a travel agent? It's actually by, through blood. My mom has travel agents before travel agencies before I was even born oh. so it was kind of a no option thing and once I got into it I absolutely loved it you once you once you're in the travel industry you just can't get away yeah so yeah. it's been quite a while um, I tried to get away from it for a bit a little bit but I came right back yeah well most people do it's funny about it. now now who uh, are your clients I mean and where do you find them well we specialize in luxury or what they call the ultra luxury uh, leisure travel we don't do corporate so we basically um, have clients that they're time poor cash rich mm -hmm. so they they don't want to uh, spend time actually looking in the internet or investigating themselves so they come to us mm -hmm. we find our clients through word of mouth mostly um, we have we're very prevalent in the uh, social media space mm -hmm. albeit that is just more for credibility or more for keeping in touch with their clients gotcha. because um, the biggest source of new clients is through other clients. No, absolutely. Referrals is absolutely the best way to go. Now, do you specialize in anything particular uh, in terms of type of travel, specialty, or destination? That's a really good question. And actually, we we always tried or tried different specialties, but in actuality, we specialize in that ultra luxury travel, yeah. not in a destination not, as not much as a, a way of travel. Right. That's right. Now, look. Obviously, you must see potential in the market. Do you think there's always going to be a good reason for people to book through? luxury travel advisor? You know what, it, when the crisis hit, we were concerned because, um, you know, you were thinking, well, are people going to continue to travel? And then when the whole boom of the internet came, we thought, oh gosh, what's going to happen now? And actually, that has given our industry in the luxury travel a big boost because there's so much in the, in, in the internet that people get confused. It's like death by analysis. Right. So the more information is out there and readily available for clients, the more they need us to decipher through all of this the junk or the you know the luxury travel um, websites and all of that sort of stuff. It's like you get really confused. That's too much, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, when you need to go network and find out more about the luxury travel uh, environment today, where do you go? I mean, what are the kind of conferences you attend? Well, we're part of Virtuoso, which is um, really something that we're proud of, but at the same time gives us a lot of uh, information. And they're always on the cutting edge. ILTM is huge. Um, Con, for example, is something that, and, and the ILTM Americas that is coming in October, um, they're always on the cutting edge as well because it's time it's time and time will tell. You have so much information as we were talking about that you have to have credible sources like ILTM or Virtuoso to help you um, decipher it yourself. Fantastic. Well, Tanya, thank you for taking the time to fill us in on why you decided to get into the profession and find out a little bit more about how you book travel. My pleasure. Thank you. I'm uh, James Schillingwall at the ILTM pop-up uh, conference where we're talking to young travel agents about why they got into the profession. Thanks very much.